guys back again over here in war wells taking a look at one more of the bases from our war against town hall legends and this is going to be a video about sui lalo and it is going to be done by janice sin so janice came in last like 10 minutes of war uh got an unfortunate time fail trying to clean up one of my hits we both kind of time failed in the same exact way it was kind of sad and then he had to quickly make a plan for this base. He ends up tripling it in like the last five minutes of war, which put us down by one or two stars leading into our final two hits, which we tripled one and we didn't get the last one. So we ended up losing. So Janice is coming here. Uh, this base kind of gives, again, a couple problems because one thing that we tried to do was, you know, bring a queen charge into here after we blimp. This eagle and inferno down south and uh what we ended up realizing on that was first uh the grand warden one shots in a super bowl breaker so that kind of foiled one of our plans and then we also realized that if the queen was stepping this way and we did the blimp by the time the queen got in range of this inferno the enemy lava hound was going to be engaging the queen and the inferno would force the queen ability which we didn't want so the next thing we decided was if we did a wall break here kind of loop the queen in she could still get the town hall and get all this and then we funnel down this way and then hybrid in but that ended up not working because of this building over here uh the gold storage was very difficult for us to funnel because uh the pekka or the king goes like this and he doesn't really loop in for the storage at any point, which ends up bringing your hybrid out of the base and then your hogs going this way. And it just didn't work out for us. So we were kind of stumped on this base. And then we came up with a Sui Lalo plan. And Janice is very good at Sui Lalo. So you see a lot of these diamond bases. This is definitely like an internet base. So unfortunately, we don't do a lot of internet bases in War Wales. So these bases are actually kind of difficult for us to attack because we never actually practice attacking them. So we've definitely started uh, copying some of these and uh, are going to be FCing them just to make them less difficult. Because, I mean, based off the Sui Lalo here, we should have been able to do this fresh. But no one really has experience on doing these bases. So it's time for us to start gaining that experience. So what makes these bases good for Sui Lalo? Well, there's a couple things. One, the base is symmetrical. So when I say a base is symmetrical, it means on both sides... It's a mirror. So it's the exact same base on both sides. So all the defense is going to be exactly the same. So you can always count on suing either side, whichever one gets you more value, and knowing exactly what is going to be where on both sides of the base. So if the Lalo works for one side, it'll work for the other. Kind of pick and choose which side you want to come in on and which side you want to do your suey for. So another thing about these symmetrical bases, especially these uh, skinny ones with like a lot of spaces in between, is most of the defenses are on the outer ring, right? So there's actually only these defenses in the core. Everything else, if you actually mark it out on the base using the walls, is pretty much inside of a good, you know, a uh, lalo pathing or a hog pathing or you know, whichever one you decide to go with. But this ring here kind of, you know, uh, is the, it, it's it's like a natural path. I always preach like pathing for Lalo. It's, it's like a natural path. So you re realistically, you just have to find the best way to one, break that ring. So we'll start here. You know, we want to break the ring here, break the ring here, whether you break it up top and then start this way. Or you break it down south and start this way. It doesn't really matter. Your your goal is to break the ring so that you are dealing with half the base. So if I break this ring here on these defenses in this RC, and then I take these out maybe with like a Sui RC or something, you can see that now I'm only dealing with this through here, right? And then obviously with a Lalo, you start looking at like where you're going to need to send in loons as support loons. So loons come in here, 
Loons go directly in there, then they come this way, scatter shot. Uh, loons come in here, and with bases like this, you can pre-drop your loons or your spells for the most part, like your haste spells to get in and out, because you know that you're gonna haste out of here. You know you're gonna want to haste somewhere in here, freeze the scatter shot, freeze the town hall, and kind of push through the base here. Now. The difficult parts of these bases obviously are Teslas and then at the top side of this base you're going to get a split eventually because the town hall here and then the uh, air defense here. So some are going to go this way and then some are going to go toward the town hall and that kind of leaves like a nasty top side and the Teslas are all up top as well. So on this base Janice is actually going to bring a heal and that heal is going to get him from the scatter to the town hall area. And that's going to just keep everything topped off because you're going to notice the pathing from this cannon to the scatter leads here and not here. So what's going to end up happening is he's going to have some loons backtrack and they're going to kind of go around. And then some loons are going to come in here and he's going to have to like get a, a late split there and gets the town hall down. But it was kind of an unfortunate split. So... That was the idea. That's kind of how you approach these bases from Lalo. You know, you, you identify your ring and then you figure out where to break the ring. So we came up with the idea of breaking the ring here. So bringing your king to the funnel. He pushes down here, hopefully kills the enemy RC. Do a wall break in somewhere on this wall. And then send in your queen here to get this this you know all these buildings here now the sui actually doesn't go exactly how we planned the king actually ends up wrapping in and taking these out and the queen steps down here so she ends up taking like this but we don't get the expo uh you know we don't get that bomb tower stuff like that so the sui didn't start off exactly how we want and then the rc is going to be responsible for i believe taking out like actually she comes up up top because the archer tower so going to be responsible for taking out like some of the, this stuff right here, which isn't exactly what we wanted because what we were actually gunning for would be everything below this air defense or above this air defense would be taken out. So air defense and above, we wanted out of the game. That way we had this, you know, solid Lalo path straight through the base, use the blimp with the dragon in it, kill the queen, have two skelly spells just in case. And uh, get around the base. But the, the Sui didn't go exactly as planned. But you're going to notice the adjustments didn't really uh, prevent us from getting a nice solid push in the base. You're going to see he, he's going to pre-drop his haste. Because this is a quick deployment. And he's going to immediately get into this eagle. Which is going to be huge because it allows you to be more patient with your Lalo. So when the, when the eagle is firing on your loons you're kind of under like a time time limit because you don't know which one of those eagle shells is going to land on those balloons and they kill balloons pretty much instantly however because you're getting the eagle down early if you look at the rest of the base this wizard tower and this wizard tower are going to sit on any hound that's sitting on that air defense okay and then this is a ground expo these are all cannons so the only defenses in this area are this archer tower and his wizard towers and they're all distracted on the hounds so there's no real need to rush through there right and then same effect here this scatter shot is tanked on anything that's tanking this air defense same thing with this archer tower bomb tower doesn't do anything to loons neither does a cannon these are both ground expos so there is only two defenses in here and they're both going to be tanked on this air defense that allows you to be very very patient and it almost makes your lalo look extremely slow however it's not slow it's just you need to save those spells for more hectic areas like when you're coming through the town hall and going into two wizard towers an inferno a warden and a tesla farm that's going to be where you want to have your spells for okay so janice here does a very good job of identifying uh the patience he was running very low on time but it didn't phase him he kind of just stuck with the plan has a bunch of cleanup down and everything goes down i think with one second left which is fine uh, so yeah, these diamond bases are very, they're very tempting to do like a queen charge or something like that, but you don't really need to, as long as you can kind of deal with the CC troops, realize 
you know, if it's a cleanup tech, you don't need to deal with the CC troops kind of thing. And uh, then you start looking at the base. You know, these bases kind of look more intimidating than they are until you realize that this whole area can tank here and this whole area can tank here, right? Like, I don't need to worry about any of these defenses if I'm using Lalo. I don't need to worry about any of these defenses if I'm using Lalo because everything's tanked here. Uh, the sweeper is annoying, obviously, but I'm flying here, so it's not a huge deal. I'll put the blimp in from six and I'll get all of this down. And then I'm just flying around. Next sweeper goes down because my blimp's coming in at six. And then I'm not dealing with any damage. All this stuff is tanked or it's on ground or it's a cannon or something. And then I'm just kind of slowly coming through here. Put my heel down, keep everything topped up. Tow them over the uh, town hall and get in. So you, key things is got to kill the enemy RC. Got to kill the enemy queen. Cut your section of the base out. Even down here, right? So you want to cut a section of the base out that you're going to suey for. And then find your pathing after that. So Janice does a really good job. Uh, we're going to get into the replay. And we'll just kind of talk through it. So he's bringing two skelly spells, three freeze, one heal. And uh, the skellies are kind of important, but the dragon ends up killing the, the queen. But he's bringing the skellies just to be safe. So he starts with the baby dragon, and what ended up happening is he wanted the baby dragon to go this way, but it didn't, and it's going to cause his queen to hook back in. Actually, no, I think he dropped his queen just in the wrong tile, because his queen's going to hook back in. Yeah, see, he should have came more towards the side, because then she would have went to the cannon and then looped in after the king. But the king goes in there, he's going to clear everything out anyway. Beast of a king just gets to the scatter shot. Kills the scatter shot. Queen gets the the wizard tower, which is actually not a bad trade. You know, the, the pathing up here isn't great for the RC because he was planning on these to be down and uh, coming in like directly on this wizard tower. But kind of unfortunate. Now he's taking like a breather. He's trying to lure the hound over to the other side so he can do his RC. Uh, Sui Lalo is not really like Queen Charge Lalo. I'm not telling you you can start like super late, but what I am telling you is that it is a very quick attack as far as cleaning up goes. So if you have to be patient to like lure something all the way out, then don't feel like you're going to time fail. I mean, you might, but you have a little bit more lenience with Sui Lalo. So he hits the ability. I believe he only gets the expo. Doesn't, no, doesn't even get the expo. So... At this point, we're a little worried because we didn't get the Sui that we wanted. We didn't get the air defense. And now you can see, like, we've only halfway broke the ring. Because we still got the Bomb Tower Expo. So we didn't break the ring like we planned on. So Janice is going to adjust. He's going to plop a haste down to get into the Queen and get into that section. And he's going to go ahead and just commit a bunch of loons there. And, again, this is a very good point to make here. He doesn't need the haste into... A mortar right like the mortar is not a big deal so the travel time is going to allow that haste it's going to be wasted if i put it like here so what he does is he covers both of these defenses completely so that when he hastes in when he gets here he's under haste then he hastes here so it goes down pretty much instantly kills both because these defenses are touching so those loon drops kill both and then he's leaving in a haste. And that gets his troops in here immediately. So that these loons continue to go the way he wants. Okay. And he's doing the same thing down here. So he doesn't need the archer tower down. Like in some huge hurry. It's tanked on the hound. So he's going to drop the loons. And they're going to get to the archer tower. Hit that haste. And they're going to crush through here quickly. And that's going to push everything this way. Then loons. Then loons. Then loons. And he's going to get everything going very quickly. And this kind of takes practice because he's going to do all this while doing a queen kill. And uh, yeah, just see how quick everything moves through. So now those loons, they broke that funnel. Now watch these other loons. Next hound comes in. Loons. Keeping everything nice and tight. Keeping everything nice and tight. Here, comes, here goes the skelly kill. King's being a, a nuisance, but the dragon's going to get it. So he's keeping everything in his lane now. That's all he's focused on. Just like I always preach, you know, this has been his lane the whole time. Now look, he's keeping everything in. He's got loons coming in on both sides. And they're all going to join up here and head towards his town hall. 
Got plenty of cleanup coming in. There's that nice group of loons. Now, if he didn't get those loons down on this archer tower, what ended what ended up happening is they would have all went in here and then came out for this archer tower. But instead, he comes opposite so that everything is pushing through here. Still has a haste or two haste, a freeze, a heal, and a rage. So he's looking really good at this point. And the warden ability. Freeze again. Town Hall comes online. That's like the worst timing right after he uses this freeze. But he gets that heal down, not panicking. He is going to lose those loons. And here's the split with the rage. Perfect timing on that rage. Perfect timing on that tome. Loses a group of loons up here. I think we just thought he had more loons up there. But we ended up uh, not realizing there's only like three of them. But he has a huge pack of loons here. Not going to be a problem. Plenty of cleanup. Dragons down here. Pups down here. Minions over there. These loons are going to crush through these last little Teslas. And that was a beautiful Sui Lalo. So... Uh, not only was it a beautiful Sui Lalo, but Janus comes in very late in the war, and in these close wars, he's like our one of our closers. Uh, he's very reliable on cleanup. He's probably one of the better cleanup attackers I've ever played with. So he's very, uh, very thorough with his planning on these cleanups, and he's very talented at a lot of different attacks. So big up to Janus. You know, sometimes we rely on Janus too much, and uh, I just want to say we appreciate you coming in and being like our, uh, like our, you know. Playing playing a game of one on one basketball, going to twenty one, and you can you have to win by two. Janus is like that triple, that three pointer at point number eighteen. You know, so good job, brother. Keep it up. That's all I got today, guys. I hope you enjoyed the content. Nice Sui Lalo. I love covering Sui Lalo. It's probably my favorite one to recap, even though I'm terrible at it. And uh, I'm gonna keep bringing it to you. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, share it with your clan mates. And uh, thank you, baby. I hope you're having a fun vacation. Spoil yourself a little bit because I'm not there to do it for you. All right, guys. Catch you on the next one.